Mr. Griftastic here again with another tech error fix for you in Google Meet. This one has to do with students being inappropriate, irresponsible students. What we're going to do is show you how to turn off the feature that was recently turned on by Google that allows students to use a phone for audio. Definitely helpful if they have poor internet connectivity, they can't hear what's going on. However, some students aren't being very responsible for it. And what they're doing is once they're connecting, they're, they're clicking this little option in Google Meet that says use phone audio. So one, I wanna show you how they're doing it. And two, I wanna show you how to turn it off. And three, I wanna show you this feature inside the Google Admin console. This would be something for your Google Admins that they can go in and actually see who did what or not specifically see, but have a better idea of who did what, and then you can narrow things down from there. All right, so first of all, let's jump into my Google Classroom and show you the issue that is happening here. I'm gonna jump over to my desktop and I have my Mr. Griftastics test desktop set up and I'm gonna click on my Google, um, I'm gonna click on my Google uh, Meet here. I'm gonna click allow and we'll say join. All right, so my camera failed because I'm currently using it. Okay, so what it is is this feature right here, and if I click on this, it says use a phone, use a phone for audio. Okay, so this is not only a feature on the teacher's uh, option or teacher's device, but it's also an option on the teacher or on the student's phone uh, or on the on the student's computer. So let's go ahead and join with the student and show you what that looks like here. I'm going to jump over to the student's Chromebook here, and I'm going to click on this. And in fact, I'm gonna turn off my audio so I don't get any squealing here. And we'll hit allow, and we will join on the student's Chromebook here. I mute my microphone here. And notice right here, if I click this option right here, it says use a phone for audio. So if I click on that, what is prompted is this window right up here. I'm gonna move me out of the way. And it says select your country and enter a phone number. So what ends up happening is if I go ahead and enter a phone number, and I've, I've used a Google Voice number to test this, it makes a phone call, it waits about 20 seconds, and then it tells the student, press one to connect the call. What ends up happening is you as the educator can't see you know, who's saying or doing what. It doesn't flash up on the screen as somebody's using something different, all right? Great for our students who you know might not have equality uh, in internet, bad for those students who are just jerks, right? So anyway, what we're doing there is we're gonna disable this feature so they can't use it. Now again, I would only disable this feature if they're causing issues, all right? So anyway, I can see this right here. I'm gonna jump back over to my teacher desktop here and take a look at this feature right down here. So brand new to Google Meet is this feature right down here and it's this little lock, all right? So if I click on the little lock, you can see we have also a couple of new options up here. There is share their screen and send chat messages. If you had students who weren't behaving in a professional manner, you could turn that off. You could turn off chat and you could prevent them from sharing their screen. I'm gonna do all of these things and I'm gonna click this button right here that says quick access. By turning this off, what this does is require the student to enter or ask permission before entering the classroom, okay? So I turned that off on all of those things. So let's go ahead and jump over to the student machine again, and we'll take a look. Now, I never exited from the student's uh, Chromebook here, so I'm just gonna hit refresh, all right? But what could have happened is the student could have uh, just been joining right now, and you can see it says allow, I'll have them click allow, and then it says ready to join. So it says ask to join. So that's the big difference right here. It says ask to join instead of ready to join. We'll click this. And so now if I jump back over to my desktop, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Someone is trying to join, close this box to see who it is. And we should have the student test student is trying to join, okay? So now you hit admit and the test, test student can join, okay? So let's jump back over to my teach or my student desktop here and we're gonna click on this again. And now that you see that they do not have that feature that says send audio to phone or what did it, what did it say? Yeah, use a phone for audio, right? So that feature is now disabled by turning that on, okay? We've also prevented them from using the chat, okay? So they can see the chat right there. 
but they can't uh, they can't type in it, okay? So anyway, that's a feature that was disabled. So last thing before I go, let's go ahead and talk about on the desktop version here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. We're gonna go into the audit log here. And so for Google admins, what you can do if you're an educator is pass this along to your Google admin, your tech person, they should be able to go into their Google admin console, go to reports, audit log, Google Meet, and they should be able to scroll down and search for the phone number within that Google Meet, all right? So they, they at least are able to find out uh, who or which one of these people signed in. It is gonna say anonymous user, but you can narrow it down to classroom. You can see when the student disconnected and reconnected. So hopefully your tech person is able to put two and two together. I know tech people don't enjoy playing uh, detective all day long. I know when I was in a district, I didn't. Uh, especially when it was the worst kind of detective and the worst kind of cases. But anyway, that's the best we can do right now is preventing this from happening by just turning off quick access in Google Meet and it's gonna require the students to, you, require you to admit every single student in the classroom each time. So hopefully that resolved an issue that you were having with poor behavior from your students, all right? So again, I am Eric Griffith here for Mobile Tech in Mobile Tech Studio B recording today. You can follow me on the Twitters at Mr. Griftastic. And as always, I hope you had a Griftastic day. Thanks.